What's up, Rockstars? Today I finally have the pleasure of unboxing Street Fighter, the miniatures game. I'm so excited to see this. Not only am I a big miniature fan, you guys know that, and these are some of the top tier miniatures from what I can tell. Hopefully that lives up to the case in person. I guess we'll see. But on top of that, I'm a huge fan of Angry Joe Show. I've been a long time fan. I actually came from the video game world, and you might actually see a little bit of inspiration um, of Angry Joe here on the channel, and that's just because... I come from a video game area where we have EA and Activision, all these companies that we can just gladly hate openly, and so I tend to have a lot of resentment towards companies in general and crap like that, and you guys see that all the time on the channel, and I might be a little bit uh, angrier about things than some other YouTube channels that cover board games. A lot of them seem to have really happy lives. I tend to get upset a lot. You guys know how it is. I'm really pumped to see... Uh, all, I'm, all I'm saying is... Someday I'll play a board game with him, and someday I will uh, actually get to unboxing this. So why don't we make someday today, at least for one of those things. Now, as always, a huge shout out to my patrons and YouTube members. It is through their financial support that I'm able to do so much through this channel. It is thanks to them that I have this microphone and thanks to them that this setup is where it is right now. And I just want to say thank you to that. I do run an independent channel. I do not take any money from any game development company so that when you see my opinion, when you hear my opinion, all of this content is 100% my honest opinion and not my wallet's opinion. So if you appreciate that and you can, go ahead and uh, give to that. There's a link down below. I do appreciate it. If you can't, though, that's fine, too. A simple like, a comment saying this was helpful. All that's really, really helpful for the AI, for this channel, and I thank you so much for it. All right, so starting out, we have some dice. Just a little old pack of dice. Purple dice, new. I guess they're purple. They're really dark purple. We'll take a look at those. Obviously, after this little part where I'm just taking things out, I will um, do a top-down view. We'll see everything up close and really, really nice. Let's go and take one of the main, main games out. This is the boss expansion. So you guys can see that. And then we... Ooh, that was loud. And then we have the regular boxed game as well. We have both of those. I'll just keep shoving that over there. Why not? Then here we have... Oh, this is heavy. The stretch goals. And we have a whole bunch of smaller box ones. So here's Street Fighter V. And here is Street Fighter III. Third Strike. Then we have... Oh, gosh. Alpha. And then we have four. And then, sadly, we have a really bent up car. Ironically, it's as jacked up as a, <laughs> as a car should be. It's all sorts of sad. We'll take a look at all this top down right now. All right, let's go ahead and dive into this. Now, just looking at this, first of all, I do appreciate the large amount of artwork. There's not a whole lot going on. You have the logo here that's really big, but I'm fine with that. That's definitely like what you want to advertise here, of course. And then Capcom's is kind of the corner, Justice's the corner, but it's not too big and it's out of the way. Like I, I appreciate that it's mostly art. Full art's obviously almost always better. I appreciate that. Maybe full art plus the logo, but it's got a few other things. That's fine. Um, I find it funny where they put his arm, by the way. <laughs> Um, it's interesting to see the, the, the pairings, too, I think. Let's go ahead and check the back. Okay, now on the back, they have the renders. So these are renders, not the actual minis. But it is, you know, it even says pre-painted miniatures, six high quality. And it says miniatures, not figurines. I appreciate that. Here they have a lot of the uh, more cartoon art here. So that's kind of interesting to see. You see some of the cards here. And a list of contents. And then just some various different... Uh, symbols everywhere. We got the Angry Joe show here, and you know, just various stuff. A little bit about it. Very retail back, I would say. The front, though, I think is actually quite good. I like, I like the front a lot. Actually, let's go ahead and open it here. So we'll go ahead. Let's start down here. Oh man, this is the scariest part. Ooh boy. 
Okay. All right. There we are. Now, I may have forgotten to mention, but uh, on my Patreon, I do a weekly, at least, a weekly audio update where I talk about everything. I, mean, I talk about the channel, I talk about what, I, what my plans and dreams are, talk about what's happened in my life, uh, anything and everything. So if you ever actually curious about that, um, and it's, it's just a simple kind of audio upload thing. It's nothing fancy, but that is there, of course. All right, let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got here. Let's get that all the way out of the way. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, so right off the bat, I can tell you that I don't like the size of the rule book. Um, if I want to sit and poop and read this, this is going to be flopping around everywhere. You don't want anything flopping around while you're pooping, right? I mean, this is, I would prefer it a little bit thicker and then normal size. Maybe even a little bit taller, that's fine too. But you see how it just kind of flops around? Additionally, and a little bit more serious than that. Um, when it's on the table and you're using, especially the first few times when you want to look it up and figure out what's going on, look how much space it takes on the table. It takes a lot more space. I'd rather be thicker. That's fine to add to the page count and make them smaller than these huge, big pages like this. Like, this is too big. Um, it just takes up too much real estate on the table. And anytime you're really using the rule besides reading it, it's when you're, you know, actually there at the game trying to play and you got to look up the rule and you're, you're taking up all the space and you're not going to remember and God knows what else. Now, like stuffed pizza, every, or stuffed crust pizza, every time you, uh, First get into it, you go from the back to the front, right? And so we're gonna go here and we're looking for an index particularly, but a game reference on the back of a rule book is a great use of a back cover, in my opinion. So I think that's totally fine. Um, it Again, it, less so when it's huge, but that's all right. And there is quite a bit of white space. So probably could have done a little bit there to, to uh, make it a little bit, a little bit smaller. Again, if you made it slightly taller, maybe that'd work too. Uh, let's see, we got the turn sequence, which is great. It's kind of reading a card, probably less useful here, but that's all right. Uh, resolving an attack is useful. Uh, different symbols and stuff like that, useful. Combo action system, useful. Common traits and keywords, useful. So it's probably the only thing, and it's taking up quite a bit of space too. It's adding the most white space. Probably I've uh, done without that and make it smaller, I think. Hindsight 2020 kind of thing right here. Okay, now first thing you have is not an index, so it won't, even if they have one, it's not easily gotten to because it's not the, you know, it's some page in here. So they have a, the, the build your own stuff so you know how to make a tree. Um, they, I feel like they could have, again, lots of wasted white space here. They could have put all three of, or, you know, all three of these probably on here too, especially, see how, like how big that one is? It's just, Two, and even then that's taking up a whole bunch here. They're showing, I guess, each individual one. I don't know. Same with the rocks. Like they're all built the same way here anyway, but whatever. Okay, I've got stage diagrams and then a glossary. Okay, so let's see if this glossary acts as an index. So it is in alphabetical order. Okay, so we have that all the way from attack action to whiff. Um, and there is page numbers listed here. So this is what makes it an index. Let's actually zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm looking at here. Okay, so an index, alphabetical order, it's not based off your headers, it's based off of in-game mechanics, and it'll list more than one page. So that if I need to know uh, something about uh, start space, I might find page 24 and think I've read everything, but this tells me a little bit about it, but also that it's on page 9 and 19 and 22 and 28 through 29. And that's really helpful. That's the key there. Uh, same here, like events, 7, 8, and 9. That's... That's what I want. Alphabetical, not based off headers. So you can structure the book however you want. This is still useful. It would have been nicer on the back page, but I'm very happy to see this. And I think it's great. So I'm fine with that. Let's zoom back out. We'll take a look here. I don't need it that big anyway. So we'll just slightly zoomed in. Uh, with that, let's go to the front. Let's go to the front. In case you didn't know, this is going to be a detailed unboxing. <laughs> Okay, got table of contents, right? Yeah, see how, like, if they had, if they had just had this and no um, uh, index, like, I wouldn't know necessarily where to find events. And if I do find events, I wouldn't know the three pa different pages that's listed on throughout the book. Use this QR code to stay up to date with the latest version of the rules in Arata. That is great. Love to see that. The best use of this I've ever seen was in Stuffed Fables, where they put it at the beginning of each section, and it went to a how to play video time stamped to that section. But we're not assuming that they're going to do that, so it, that, that's okay if that's not done. All right, so we're going to go and move past that and go to the introduction. That's fine. Again, lots of white space. They did not need this book this big, as far as I can tell. 
Uh, I mean, it, it looks nice. It's visually pleasing as an item, but not as a usable item, which uh, this is one of the most used technical documents you'll write in your life. So, uh, game components. I love a list of game components, preferably matched with the image so that I know that when you're talking about, you know, um, uh, I don't know, tag team tokens versus turn order tokens versus power, I know what they look like. Sometimes it can be kind of similar. Sometimes the, uh, like, the guard token might not be you know, something that's very obvious, and so it's nice to be able to see that. So uh, I prefer that, but that's okay. Okay, no, see, this is exactly what I was talking about here. So here we have game components continued where they're going through, this is this, this is that, these are attack cards. Let's see. So they're doing the thing where they start with the game components, and so you get maybe a little bit into the weeds here before you get to the overall, like, like at this point, do I, do I know how to win? If I don't know how to win, then talking about mechanics can be kind of confusing. Uh, it's good to have that in mind, stuff like that. I like high level, like super high level, and then you break it down afterwards. But we'll see. They got the battle dice here. Um, so I didn't see like the guard token here. So this isn't necessarily a something that's like going to show me where the guard token is. So we'll skip through that. It goes to versus mode. This looks like probably a little bit more of the high level stuff I I want. Nice call out boxes here. I like that. Several call out boxes. Uh, good headers, by the way. I like that they're very noticeable. Um, some nice, you know, art. Uh, makes it nice. Uh, examples are good too. I appreciate that. Again, more. Uh, I actually have this. Uh, <laughs> this in Photoshop, the little paint splotch thing. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, no, I mean it looks good. I'm okay with it. Again, I'll read it. I'll let you guys know fully in the review how I feel about the rule book. It looks like a lot of examples though, which is nice. Again, just a little big. Just a little big for my taste, but otherwise, seems quite good. I like it. Okay. All right, so the glossary definitely has me happy, and that's a great, a designer notes is useful as well, so you kind of know intentions and stuff. I like it. Okay. All right, let's go and move on from that and finally get to the game. All right, zoom out a little bit here so we can kind of see the whole thing. All right. And it looks like we have a ton of punch board. Look at that, tons of punch board. And then we have that. We're going to go, we'll get to that in a little bit. Right now we're on cardboard. And I can see right now it's got this kind of uh, shiny surface that will probably show, it's a little warm in my office right now, uh, fingerprints over time, I would think. A lot of times this this does. Just it, You see the little kind of darker spots here perhaps? That tends to just uh, propagate. Um, let's go ahead and, I mean, otherwise though it seems pretty sturdy, so I like that. Let's go ahead and just get some punches out. Great, love that punch out. Anytime you can punch it and it doesn't really leave a tag. See how it like wanted to hang on that tag, but it didn't. These are pretty heavy too. Uh, let's try up here. Nope, oh, almost, but so far they've actually been popping out. Tags are kind of a bummer. Uh, just because they can be unsightly and if they're too strong, they can actually stay on and start peeling the, the print image that they have off. These are not matte, so they are shiny, a little reflective, but not terribly so. So you can still, I mean, you can see that reflection there uh, just a little bit. So on the table, you might get a little bit if it's like on the other side, a little bit of a reflection, but you can still tell what it is by the looks of it. Uh, kind of interesting that they put the logo on every single one. These definitely could have been smaller. Uh, these are like larger than pogs, but you know, <laughs> that's all right. As for the actual um, I guess we'll zoom in some more here for the actual cardstock that they're using here. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. You can see some slight layer lines, just ever so slightly, but honestly, not too bad at all. This is actually quite good cardstock. There's no bend or anything like that. There's no fraying that I can see anywhere. The tags are noticeable, but not when you actually like look at it too much. Like there's a little bit you can see right there, right? But it's not too bad at all. These are these are great. I like this. We're gonna punch out a few more. I'm gonna zoom out though, unless I see something that we need to really zoom in on. Uh, let's go ahead and make a tree. We'll see how that is. Be careful in punching this out, I imagine. There we go. So you don't tear anything, but so far so good yeah uh, joe definitely went premium on this i appreciate that uh two-sided of course because it's going to be a part of the terrain here and then you're going to fit this in now the key here is oh that's actually perfect that's great i know he was talking about this once not too snug 
but not too tight. I don't want to like grind the pieces together, right? That that definitely warps it and makes it bad. But you don't want to uh, make it too loose either, right? Uh, no, this looks good. Now, I, you know, again, it is a cardboard cutout versus anything else, but it definitely adds to the table presence, adds some 3D element to it, which helps with the minis, so it's not 2D elements on top of that. You know, it's not just a token laying on the floor of a picture of a tree, right? But it's also not a miniature of a tree either. So it's kind of in between a little bit, uh, kind of photosynthesis, if you know what I mean. Okay, so anyway, that looks good and that looks great. Let me see if there's a small or maybe an interesting shaped. This looks like this one has some punch outs here for the missiles to go through. Just trying to test everything. These punch out great. You know, honestly, these are these are fine. There's a little bit of a uh, sound there of some grinding, but it seems fine to me. I'm okay with it. Okay, let's see. Some small pieces here. You got to punch out. These can be kind of. Nope, nope, that's clean. All right. Good job, Joe. Good job, Jasco. So far, so good. So far, so good. Let's see. I think the smallest thing I'm going to get is a rock. Um, unlike Angry Joe, I don't typically watch too many unboxings, but I did watch part of his. I'm not going to misplace one of the rocks because I'm not going to build it all. I'm just going to build one of them. It looks like I grabbed two of the same kind. You need one open on the top, one open on the bottom. There we go. So it'd go like this. That was perhaps a little bit more snug, but there you go. There's a rock. Congrats. You got a rock. <laughs> All right. I think we're probably good on these. Anything? Oh, oh, we got the game board here. So let's pack up. I'll pack up. You guys do whatever you want. You guys just chillax. All right. Okay. I think I have enough room here. Let's see. Let's see. Oh man. Okay, so I can tell something right now. Let's fold this back up. I need more room. We'll make some more room. That's okay. All right. So fold it out on this side here. Okay, color looks good. Zoom all the way out. Okay. So yeah, the color looks good. I like that. Um, the art style is definitely in line with what you see in a lot of the video games, which is great, especially the newer ones here. And uh, so I like that. I like the perspective. It seems good where, you know, everything's kind of angled down. You're looking top over top of them as they fight in the brawl here. You will notice this doesn't lay quite flat, right? There's, there's some space here um, where it just doesn't quite bend all the way. So I did notice that. Um, but there's no ripples on any glue or anything like that. It's just a little bit flimsier. It's a little bit thinner, as you can see. This is probably one of the lower quality game boards that I have compared to something like, like if you're spoiled by like Monolith or something like that with Conan or Batman or anything like that. Uh, they have really thick cardboard. This is quite thin, and this is, tends to happen when it's thinner. It doesn't keep its structure quite as much. So it's a little bit more flexible, so you can actually kind of bend it. And that bending here on such a big area uh, adds some bowing. Uh, in a review, I'm not going to test it right now. I'll, I'll put the minis in here. I'll let you know if it's bad enough to where they're, I, because they're so big, it should be fine. Um, maybe if you want to put like a tree on a big bow here, again, you can kind of see just the the amount of, of bowing like that 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 is present here. And it might flatten out too. I'll try to flatten it out as well. But... Uh, that's just from it being skinny. Now, I also... Okay, good, good. Whoo, I was like, is that a notch? But no, we're good. And th the glue job, by the way, on the rim here, that's where this is right here, looks great as well. It's actually fairly lined up with the line evenly. I uh, would really bother me if it was a little cockeyed, but it's not. It seems quite straight. Anytime you get grid lines like that, sometimes you can see a little oddity in a cut or a glue, but that seems to be good. So yeah, just a little, a little thin here. You can also see that Boeing. So that's kind of what I was talking about there. All right. That leaves us oh, to cards. Now here are some dials. Pre-made, by the way, which is nice. Normally you have to make these, so it's very nice that we can zoom in. There's nothing that big anymore. Uh, it's nice that this is actually 
showing up pretty good. Again, make sure I'm nice and crisp on there for you. Uh, they spin very, very nice. Very, very. These are some of the best spin dials I've actually had um, in a board game. These are very, very nice. Uh, sometimes there's a little bit of a tag. There's one right here, but it's not really noticeable. Sometimes that can really bother your finger a little bit. But no, these are good. Very good. Maybe a little too loose. Let me see how they are. No, they're fine. Sometimes if it's too loose, they just kind of knock around a little bit. But this seems good both ways. Uh, yeah, no, that's great. That is awesome. How many of these do you got? Got enough for everything you need. That's 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 what that is. Okay, cool, cool. All right, let's see what else we got here. We got a few little cards here, just a few. Go and open up. Easy open. I prefer these over any of the other kinds. Um, it, they tend to be uh, thicker for whatever reason. They just tend to be uh, not so tight on the cards. If you if you bound them too tight, they can bend from the pressure of it being, you know, wrapped. And then those little red pulley tabs that you have sometimes, like you do with like gum and stuff too, um, it can be very finicky in my in my opinion. And messy, right? Because then you're peeling and you got two pieces out. This is nice. In fact, you could almost keep this and reuse it if you were weird, I guess. Okay, um, are these just reminders? These are just player aids up to like a free for all. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's awesome, love it. Love it, because it is two to six players. So, uh, little reminders here. This is what I was concerned about. If you had that big rule book out, and that, and like, that's only one of them in the whole book, but then, uh, or in the whole table, so everybody has a share. But on top of that, uh, it takes up a lot of space. But you might only need this, and that might be enough for you, especially maybe in your second, third, or even fourth one there. Uh, underneath that, we have some dice. This is huge for me. Uh, anytime I back something on Kickstarter and I'm spending a hundred plus bucks, I think the least you could probably do is give me custom dice. And so when I see little sad six pips, you know, Yahtzee dice, I call them Yahtzee dice, um, it makes me sad. I'll give them to my grandmother to play Yahtzee with or something like that. She can roll them in a cup. Um, I want, I want cool dice. I want dice with, uh, fists and shields and flaming uh, meters and all sorts of stuff here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. I will say uh, they are the Chissix dice, so they're a little more rounded, so they'll roll a lot. You'll see in a lot of like casinos or anything like that, they're very square, right? So they tend to, you want to roll beforehand because when you do that, instead of rolling like that, they might do that, but for a lot of times they'll plop down. These you can just casually, you know, all day long and they'll roll themselves. So that's the difference there. These tend to roll a little bit more. These are also marbled, which look great, but also means they're even less uh, balanced than one that's pure color, right? Because obviously there's different densities and stuff going on here between the two, just inherently it's minute. But all board, I've, I've never met a board game dice that seems to be perfectly balanced anyway. Again, we're not gambling money here, so it tends to be okay. Uh, the white in here is pretty darn good. So I like that. They tend to be showing up quite well. So I appreciate that. Um, there's a little bit of like paint spots. You can kind of see a little bit, but not too bad. There's nothing that's bleeding over. There's no weird edges or anything like that. Uh, even like the little piece right there looks good. These look fine. I'm, I'm totally okay with these. There's no missing knuckles. These look great. These look really, really nice. I am happy with these. They look great. They're a good mix of color too. Sometimes you get a marble and it's like, oh, this is almost all red. Uh, this is a good... Like all of these are a good mix. Now, like, there's a little bit of darkness here, but the rest of it seems fine. Um, it's not like noticeably darker than the rest or anything like that. I like these a lot. Those look great. They look fantastic. All right, so next. Oh my gosh, if I can put this up. Maybe I should look what I'm doing here. Come on, get in there. How did that fit in? <laughs> oh man. Oh, this was in there, right? You guys saw it. Nah, whatever, we're gonna have one one dice less right now. Okay, we'll be over there. I'll figure that out, <laughs> maybe. Okay, we got a whole bunch of decks here. They are separated, which again is nice. Okay, so I'm not gonna open all of them. Uh, we'll probably see Chun-Li, we'll, we'll see Ryu, of course. 
and uh, let's do Vega. We'll just do those three. Just kind of take a quick look at them. Uh, if you want to see every single pitcher, uh, then I uh, every single card, I would suggest watching it uh, or just looking up some pictures of something. Ask somebody to take some pictures of it, as opposed to watching a big old long review <laughs> uh, slash unboxing of the components. Okay, so no easy open here. Seat is wrapped. That being said, it's not super tight. So there's only a slight bend going this way. Just very slight. Very slight. But you can see it's a little bit harder to open, a little bit more dangerous. I might cut myself. They, they, they don't know. They don't know. All right. Let's see here. All right. I'm going to open these, and I will be right back. All right. So I'm back, and I have them opened up. Let's go ahead and take a look. So, right off the bat, I like the uh, the art here. Oh, see, and there's even like some some detail here. I appreciate that. Anytime you can put any lore or interests like this, like here she likes crepes, fruit, and candy, and she just likes in bison crime and people that can't get to the point. I dig all this. That's awesome. Birthday March first doesn't give a year. Typical. <laughs> Wait, she'll never tell. <laughs> These are great. And then a little bit about her. That's awesome. That's great. And again, cool kind of the, it's like the anime art like you'll see in some of the uh, in-game movies that you get or spin-offs or any other junk here. So it's first printing here. So that's cool. It puts that there. A little copyright as well. Very cool. Okay. And then you have like, it looks like her actual cards here, which are typical, you know, Magic the Gathering style, you know, uh, top, you know, split in half really. There's a lot here. Uh, and, the, and what looks like a footer, which is kind of interesting. Um, and then again, first, is that what they are? Yeah, they're all going to say that. Okay, that's cool too. Um, but we get a whole bunch of uh, symbology here as well. So the range, one to four attack, but it is labeled. So I appreciate that too. And then the um, different uh, combos that you can do. This is a projectile attack. Uh, very easy to read and a little bit of a blurb here. We'll see how much this is. I do like that there's a little bit of a rule reminder. That's kind of cool. I dig that. Looks like that's on every projectile, just in case. I guess it's very useless afterwards. Repeated um, cards and repeated art, uh, which is typical. We'll see how much of that is everywhere, but here's a fierce version of it. And notice this one has the red blip there. It's two to five versus one to four. It's attack three with red versus attack two with like a, a green yellow thing here. And then again, a little bit of a blurb there and a bit about projectile. Get several of those. You get your strike, palm strike. It has a little bit about strike. I like that. And then here's a little bit more of a blurb. So I appreciate that. Um, no, these, these are cool. So it looks like each card, from what I can tell, has a unique art. But the cards do have repeats as well. I like the uh, police outfit. That's cool. Uh, yeah, this one, again, doesn't have a whole lot at all. So it's a little blank there. But that happens a lot in card games. So I can understand that. The style is a little... Like, you know, here shiny and then here very not shiny when it comes to the uh, leggings. Which is kind of interesting that they would have... I wonder if they're different artists. Do they have oh, illustration? Let's see. Oh, oh, yeah. So different illustrations. Interesting. That's cool that they put the artists there at least. Because, you know, people, yes, yeah, see different artists here as well. Just kind of all over the place. Interesting. I like it. Here's some non-fighting stuff as well. Uh, event, response, sense of justice... <laughs> bait and because you can like bait their attacks uh, I remember him talking about that focus attack very cool very cool love the art love the little blurb there take a look at Ryu so again same thing uh, uh, no year but he will tell you in kilograms I don't know what that is in uh, freedom pounds but that's all right uh, and then again I wonder gunship revolution I wonder if gunship revolution did all of these because they did that one as well and this one so it looks like they got like the main one there and then different people here from even from udon entertainment i wonder where they got all the artists from because some of them are from companies and some of them are from <laughs> i love the anime part there. that's great um these are all udon anime now here's jason cardi again doing his thing he does like the shiny the shiny skin <laughs> oh ooh, ooh. another udon entertainment I mean, that being said, the, uh, while it's different, it's not that different. I actually really like it. I love, by the way, that it goes all the way to the edge. There's no border 
on it or anything like that, which is great to see, actually. Really appreciate that. Oh, copyright Capcom, or Illustration Capcom there. Very cool. Yeah, see, that's obviously a different style there. I like it, though. These are cool. These are very nice. And very, you know, kind of... It, it, it seems to match, right? Which is just good in general. Here's Vega without his mask here. And again, kind of tells you a little bit about things. He <laughs> likes beautiful things in himself. He said that, you said beautiful things twice. <laughs> All right, and we'll just give a quick look through here. You see that this art style is actually quite different there, from what I can tell, compared to some others. Um, let me see, same here. No, well, no, I mean, I guess, it, it, again, it, it matches. It's fine. Very color saturated here. Look at the color on that. Some blue, blue pants. <laughs> Uh, uh, this one might be my favorite. I like this one of him. Mainly because it's got the cage in the background. You gotta climb the cage, right? Cage is important. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, this is uh, again very anime. Here he is without his mask. Here he is again. Beautify. <laughs> That's great. Love it. I love that he's in the cage. That's awesome. Okay. So there's some cards. Again, I'm not gonna show you everything. There's, there's, a, you, you want, in my opinion, you watch videos for commentary, and commentary on double that would just be a little boring in my mind. Which brings us to the minis. All right, and these are looking cool. Definitely not what you're used to getting. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, when it comes to Kickstarter, so I am noticing that they are snapping. However, obviously you don't paint these. So as long as the, 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 the snapping is pretty tight, what I would hate to see is it to start wearing the paint down, right? That's the problem with like snap-ins. And snap-ins are where the plastic snaps into, like on onto a piece, so it, it like forces it down in there. And if on ones where you paint it, it can even with varnish, it can. Oof, yeah, these are. So again, it's probably just right here, and I think this black is actually just a plastic, not paint. Hopefully that's the case. If that's the case, then I think we're golden. If it starts wearing out, I guess I'll let you guys know when I can. Um, okay, so again, the fact that anytime you're uh, controlling the base of a mini, you can sculpt it to a place where, again, he's not even touching the base, which makes him super dynamic and cool, just from a miniature perspective. I'm not even going to talk about size or anything like that, because that's, that's what, you know, kind of whatever. I'm going to talk about paint and then sculpt design, and I really appreciate the sculpt design there. I do think the uh, connection point here and here is smart. Right? If he was just here, he could be a little wobbly, right? Because he would be only way up here. And you could, you know, when you went to pick him up, you would squeeze here and he would bend, right? In, into, like he wouldn't bend, but it would it would force it. So by making the contact point top and kind of bottom here, very, very smart in my opinion. So quite heavy, by the way, too. Uh, definitely has some, like these are not uh, hollow or anything like that. Uh, color seems good. Skin seems fine. The wash is a little, let me, I, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, but just, so I want you guys to see the mini. I just want to really show off, at least at first, this, uh, okay, so you see the wash here? So sometimes if it doesn't, if you don't have enough, it just kind of gets this spotted look here, as you can see. So it's not like solid lines or anything like that. And if, see like here it's solid, right? So that's really good. This is good on the feet and the toes. But on, on this arm, it looks like even on this arm. And it's kind of hard because uh, I doubt they wanted solid lines, right? Otherwise, it's, it's almost like black lining. You don't necessarily want that. But do you see how much smoother this is here? So it's just a matter of getting it smooth. And that can be kind of hard. The eyes, by the way, I think look great. It's always kind of hard to do. And the reason eyes are hard to do is, for, I mean, first of all, just getting them lined up and the right size and, you know, not angled or anything like that, very hard. Um, but when there's this small, you technically wouldn't really see much of the white of their eyes. Like if you go out grocery shopping and you look at somebody that's 20 feet away, tell me how much of the, the white of their eyes that you actually see. And you'll notice you don't see as much as you would think. Um, it doesn't look like there's any highlighting on the black belt, uh, which is fine. Um, getting that highlighted can be hard and not make it look gray. Typically you almost want to put like a blue in there, uh, you know, color it a little bit just to make it not look gray. Uh, the red wash is pretty good as well, uh, where it is. Like I see some here, I don't really see any here at all. Obviously I'm spending more time on the f first one than maybe future ones. The teeth are painted, 
which is another operation in of itself along with the inside of the mouth so that's good uh, hairs put on quite well so I like that um, yeah I mean it looks good it looks good I'm happy with it and then of course this style here is cool too the only thing I might not like per se is that it's shiny uh, compared to this because he's very matte right if they had maybe done a matte varnish on this uh, type of plastic it, I think it would like a little bit less plastic a little bit more like what it should perhaps perhaps but either way it's definitely cool definitely a cool mini okay let's go ahead and just keep going Ugh. all right uh doing the coming on me on no <laughs> Uh, like the two different colors. That's cool. This wood looks fantastic. Really like this wood. Looks great. Very, very nice wood. I did that. Very big planks, if you think about it. He could put both feet side by side on the plank and be okay. So fairly large planks. Not the biggest, but maybe is that like a dock or something like that versus a, um, a home, right, where you'd have a lot thinner planks here. Uh, I do notice a little bit, tiny little bit of uh, paint something like that here and put that in the center for you maybe you can see it uh some black flecks here here and here that may have come from paint may have not who knows uh, this is not attached here by the way this is just swirled got all of them yeah none of them are attached that's cool love love the kanji here that's awesome that looks great those are some great transfers i'm assuming it's not painted uh, skin tones look great by the way there is variance in skin tone as you can see which I also appreciate um, it's great to see it here as well uh, yeah, they did a good job on that his eyes look good his eyebrows look good I actually like the hair um, yeah I mean it looks, looks looks quite nice it's very hard to shade white very hard and make it not look dirty uh, it looks like they did a very very light wash very watered down I think that's the key there unless you um build up to white so sometimes you can uh almost put like a tan or something like that and then build up to white so it's you know keep highlighting but that's a ton of operations i'm sure this was just white and then they just put this wash in here it actually looks to me like they did negative space painting where you're painting in the actual creases and not even touching it here so you're not just putting a wash over everything it can take a little bit more time sometimes than what you typically do with skin but uh yeah it definitely looks nice i'm i'm okay with this maybe a little bit dirtier in the pants but actually i'm not upset about that at all because again you know pants and again it just adds yeah i mean no, whatever it looks fine get the <clears throat> the big man himself oh my these are so locked in oh my gosh so that's a, a pain to get out that doesn't be that locked in that's crazy okay again got the teeth uh got the mouth beard looks good eyebrows look good um i'm again i'm fine with the eyes they actually look great these are very very nice these would cost you quite a bit outside of this board game i'm sure um i like that this isn't filled with glue here that's nice to see uh there is a little bit of a some drainage there from some kind of um glue so you can see the glue kind of smudged here and what they did is they wiped it here and then it trickled down there a little bit. That's the glue is what you're seeing right there. Nothing major, but you can kind of see that reflectiveness a little bit, just a tiny bit. And it looks like there's a scuff mark here as well. And uh, some kind of odd scuff mark there. So his butt's been damaged, <laughs> which, you know, it, it happens to the best of us. What, what can I say? There's actually a lot of shininess over on that part compared to this. So they, did, they, they splooged the glue there a bit much. Love the chest hair. Muscles on top of muscles. Uh, we got a scar here, which looks cool. I actually dig that. That looks great. Um, same here, here. Those look really good. Um, looks like this paint might be a little misaligned, right? There's a crease there. They didn't quite get it in there. Maybe right here as well. This should be part of the scar and isn't. Yeah, same with this point here. Just a little bit. But, I mean, again, just looking at him and not being anal about it like I am, he looks great. Great size, too. My goodness, the size is awesome. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so see, so she's, like, really. So right here is the the other latch on here. I might, these are so tight, come in here. You can get a, uh, um, 
gosh, what is it? You could cut it out, right? But you can also get a hair dryer. Hair dryer is what looking for. Or a heat gun if you have one. And just heat up just a little bit and push that in. The plastic will soften up where you can do that. Because the problem is, ugh, yeah, she's really locked in there. I don't feel like that. I don't feel like doing that every time I want to play the game and get some people out. <laughs> Um, so again, here's with the white. This is a little bit dirtier, and I actually appreciate that. Like compared to, compared to him. Okay, here. So you see, like the back of him. You see that? See how it's dirtier? That's fantastic. The level of detail there, because it's again, it's these like dust clouds on the bottom. is fantastic. Very well done. It's also glued quite well. There's a little bit of a spot here, but honestly, that's very very good. Um, same with here. The uh, the transfer there is quite good. There's a tiny bit right at the tip there where it should be white, like it should be white right there, but that is totally fine. That looks great. Uh, the trim looks good. Like a little bit of a yellow bit here in the blue, but otherwise fine. Um, and then obviously this is maybe a little bit brighter than right here, which is a little bit less than, this is probably the darkest part here. But I mean, again, these look great, look great. Notice this is white, it's not get the same treatment as this debatable on if it should or not but there's a little bit there that's just pure white it doesn't like got any wash at all um it would have been nice maybe to get something but um anyway no this this looks good it looks like there's a little bit of a okay there we go just fell right off <laughs> fell right off looks great again face looks pretty pretty darn good again for for the scale of this this is this is fantastic uh quite quite good um and i like the little whatever you call them in her hair as well. That looks good too, especially the little tiny bits of yellow. Looks nice, looks great. And again, very dynamic pose, right? Like it just screams, I'm in motion. Okay, we got two more here, and then we can start looking at stretch goals and, oh my gosh, come on, Vega, come on out. So again, it's locked right here, right? So I'm trying to lift up, and he's just like, in. oh, it's actually locked right here as well. <gasps> Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be heating those up. I'm changing that. Uh, he can kind of hurt when you grab them. By the way, these are not these are pretty pretty legit. Um, yeah, so great uh, great skin color and great skin range really over the place. Uh, a good nice deep blue. There's a little bit of white on the side here where it shouldn't be. That should be blue, but that's fine. Um, this is glued on well his claws, so that's nice to see. His hair looks good. His band is actually a different brown, so that's nice to see the difference there. He's taking up more than his base. He is off hanging the base, which I always appreciate. When If you center them too much, it looks like they're framed, and I don't want them to be framed. I want it to seem like he's in a greater area, and that really does it there. So that looks really good. Uh, these are bendy, by the way. Okay, one more. Oh, see, he popped right out. If they all popped out like him, that'd be great. Um, I love seeing the fist inside of there. That's actually really cool. I dig that a lot. Again, with the dirty kind of dust build up there, the paces look awesome, by the way. A little paint issue there. Um, and then this is not white, right? This is like a very dirtied up kind of uh, general color bandage kind of thing. Tiger looks great there. The eye patch looks good. Teeth look good. The one eye showing looks good. Yeah, it looks great. And not the same blue, right? They're not like reusing the same blue or anything like that. So the colors seem all accurate as well. All right, let's go in and get into some more stuff. Okay, real quick, before we get into anything else, let's just take a really, really quick look at the other dice. Um, anytime you're playing a competitive game, especially if it's just two people, perhaps, it's always nice to, uh, I'm so loud. Um, <laughs> loudest, don't ever take this to a movie theater and open that at a silent part of the movie. Uh, very nice to have multiple sets of dice, and then even different colored. And these are no exception. I think they look very, very nice. Again, same kind of thing. I'm not seeing an issue at all. These are some of the best dice I've gotten in a game, honestly. Not necessarily the best paint per se used, but just overall, they just the very, very the marbling is very even, very noticeable. Again, a little bit darker here, right? But uh, nothing that really makes it stand out too much. That's probably I mean, no, see, because there's others just like that. Um, it looks good. I like them. I really do. I think these look nice. There's good contrast. They look great rolled. Maybe it depends on what that roll was, but uh, no, these are nice. So like those as well. And yeah, a good hefty amount too. All right, next up we have the stretch goals. Tons of stretch goals. Let's see what we got here. 
these are all the Kickstarter stuff, so if you are buying this retail, well, that sucks. You might be able to get it under Mortal Kombat Kickstarter that's coming up. I'm not sure. Don't know. I'm not sure about that. Here's the car stage bonus. So you can actually beat up the car, which is cool. I appreciate that. And uh, there was an issue with it somewhere. I don't know exactly what the issue was. I didn't I didn't really look into it. <laughs> I love the little arcade cabinet as well. Uh, but they did offer those stickers that you saw at the first part. Um, this is great. I like this. Let's see. Is there a lid? There is a lid. Thank you. Thank you, Jasko, for not trying to say that this will keep all the miniatures perfectly still. Now you guys have it locked in and everything too, but I do very much appreciate a lid. Very much appreciate a lid. Now, the only other thing you could do is on the back of that, put a picture of who goes where, just so you know, because it, it can be confusing. So I'm gonna take a look at that cup. I'm gonna see this cup a lot, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it looks great. Uh, you do have a little seam here, right? It's a very basic, very basic kind of cup, but I love the little inlay there. Um, the white doesn't go all the way on the sides. It's just on the top. Um, this was very, I forget if this was the last minute one. Either way, it was, it wasn't like a major unlock, right? But I do like that. That's cool. Ah, oh, see, I love the colors. Oh my gosh, they're so stuck in there. This is insane. Come on. I mean, he could he lift the whole thing easily. I'm just trying that. Okay, all right. Maybe there's a secret to getting them out. My goodness, he was difficult. Um, okay, so we got a little scuff mark here, but just a little one. Let's go ahead and zoom back in. I see what I'm looking at a little bit more. Here, watch it put these things to the side. There we go, so you can focus on one. Um, love the color though. Again, the color did really good. They didn't put a wash on him, and I think that would have been a little beneficial because he does have a little collar here and then the cutoff part here and the tassels. I think would have looked better with a wash. Same with the gray on his belt. Um, especially the buckle anyway, at least. I think that would have looked good. He just, he could have used a wash there, but he didn't get one by the looks of it. He does have a butt crack. <laughs> so there is that. <laughs> You know, I mean, some might view that as a pro, some might view that as a con. <laughs> Same with here, the tassels didn't seem to get a wash, which again would have been nice. I do like the design on the wraps here, and on his bandana looks good as well. No wash on the feathers either, but there's very little detail there. Um, his skin did, though it looks like again there's a little bit of a blemish there, and you're going to see that probably throughout. Face paint looks good, eyes look good, eyebrows look good. His hair might be slightly higher this way. I see a tiny bit of a gap here, um, but it's not enough to be super noticeable. It seems fine, so I'm okay with it. And a very cool just d design in general, right? I really dig that. Uh, looks cool. Ugh, put him back in. Oh, okay, all right, I got it. All right, love the black purple kind of one on this. This is great. So he's gone full Super Saiyan here, as as you do. Uh, not Super Saiyan three. Hair's not long enough, and he still has eyebrows. Uh, but his eyes are just uh, white. They're not, uh, you know, there's no pupils going on there. I love how it, it's almost it's like on a broken base here, and the the shading they did on this is actually great. I really appreciate that. I don't know if they just did a wash or if they did airbrush, but either way, it looks good here. This is integrated into the base quite well. It probably goes down into there, but it looks really, really good. So again, he's actually on this, and then he's sweeping around his leg here. His torso's twisted. The sculpt design is done very, very well. It's very believable that he's a human being with a skeletal bone structure. There's no weird unnaturalness about his movement, which is nice. Love the tendrils here. It coming out of the back is a nice touch. I dig it. And then look how huge this is. And this is, stays firm too. This is not like lagging or like there's no supports here, but it is a very solid plastic. Very good. And I love that there's are no real glue spots here. They didn't use some like super glue that clouds it or anything like that, which is nice. And also notice the feet go into there. There's a little bit of a, a lip. It's not flat there like you see so many times. Same with here. See, it's two separate pieces, so it doesn't have to be flat here. It's not some single mold cast or anything like that. These are great. These look awesome. I like him. He's cool. All right. Keep going on. Keep on trucking. I don't know which way he goes. 
So see that that's kind of a problem here is like because there's no pitcher, I don't recall like was he was he this way? Maybe this way. Yeah, okay, I think that's the case. So I'm just gonna have to figure it out or guess, I guess. Guess, I guess. Love, love the base here. That's very cool. Like, because otherwise it'd be very plain, right? But instead he got the crazy buffalo right here. And again, he's... <laughs> Wait, let me see his eyes. So he has sculpted on eyebrows, which actually work quite well for him. I think that looks great on the mini. There is a lot of brown, or skin color brown, on his... Um, the front of his hair. So his hair is you know, not quite what it should be, but that's all right. Uh, Champion looks good here. Um, it's fairly centered well enough. I appreciate that. Same with the, the little bit right here on the boxing glove. Again, love that you can see it through there. That looks great. Love that these are not really multi-piece per se. It looks like there might have been two here, but on the outside, barely noticeable at all, thanks to the, the rigidness of it, which is very nice to see as well. Again, taking the whole base here. A little bit of a um, odd waviness here, but otherwise okay. Yeah, he looks great. And again, no wash on the blue. Could have probably used one, but um, looks fine anyway. And part of that's just because of how big it is. So you do get some natural shadows. The reason you need a wash, typically, is because this is not real life. And so we have these huge lights in our house that shine down on this. And this detail is that far off the mini. And so the light just spills over. So it doesn't get the proper shadow that it would in real life if it was life size. That's why you do a wash. And the bigger the miniature, the less you actually need that. Ugh, all right, that sounded bad, but looks good. Um, I was worried how this would look connected, but it connects fantastically, actually. Very, very good job on the connection there. Like seeing that. It's a good spacing, kind of sporadic a little bit, like he's right in the middle of it. Love the face paint. Eyes look good. Uh, this looks good. There's a little bit of a gap here from this one that's fairly noticeable. A little bit on the stomach, but that actually looks fine just because it's such a big stomach. It looks a little bit more like shadow. Um, it's probably the, the, this is a little bit more noticeable, at least up front, but again, not terribly so, like, especially if you look at it from that angle, right? <laughs> so from this, he looks great, right? That's, that's the, when you take pictures, take it like this, not quite like this. You'll, you'll see a little bit of a gap there, depending on your assembly. Skin looks good, by the way. I like it. I like it. I love the drain too. I love how that's actually in, like layered into there. That's awesome that they did that. Okay, we'll get Cammy again, powering right down onto their big old kind of swoosh explosion there with the little blue thing there. I will say it looks like I got some glue residue either from fumes or who knows what. I wonder if that, oh, that looks like that just cleans right off. Look at that. Okay, well, never mind then. Just some kind of weird, weird residue on it, but I can do that. These are multi-piece, by the way. There's another piece there. They're just, they, they glue really well together. Uh, okay, so yeah, sadly this one's maybe a lot quite as good. There's a little bit of like shininess here. There's a little bit of uh, skin on her, uh, you know, whatever you call it. I don't know what you call that chunk. Um, <laughs> gloves look good, face looks good, hair looks good, braids look nice. Again, they are bendy, but they keep their form, which is good. Um, I like, again, that she's fairly centered, but she starts way over here in the corner. And that kind of sculpt design, just looks great. So she's not gonna topple over. She's not like front heavy or anything like that. Um, so the mini topples. Instead, it's just very well designed to where you have that. Yeah, and actually this probably helps a little bit in that case as well, but nice and centered. So that's that's really good as well. I like that. Okay, let's keep it going. Got Mr. America. <laughs> I love the base design. Again, I think it looks great. Oh no, I got a little bit of can I got a little bit of a uh, lip here? Oh, I don't know if you can see there. There you go. So a little bit. I'll, I'll try and push that down and see. Ooh, that's hard to push down. Yeah, I'll, I'll see what I can do about that, I guess. Uh, camo looks good. Love the colors, especially the orange included in there. His dog tags are not the shiniest. I actually would have preferred him a little bit shinier, a little bit more silver, uh, preferably. Love the hair, though. The texture on the top looks great. Um... Love the green color as well. The boots are textured on the bottom, which is nice to see as well. I always like to check that. Looks good. I like it. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Whew. All right, so this guy, again, on the base, there's a little bit of glue here. Might try to catch it up. And also another, look at that, another little bit of a lip there. It looks like something pulled it up a little bit. Or they tried to, like, insert it in there before it was really hardened or something like that. Love the maracas on there. That's really nice. The maximum looks great. You know, it's, it's a little kind of fuzzy around the U, but it's fine. Uh, this black skin tone looks great, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Definitely got a, a heavier wash on his orange uh, pants here, but that's fine. Uh, this, it looks really good, and that's hard to do with it all. The I like that and the M like that. That looks great. That looks great. He looks like he's happy, too, <laughs> which is awesome. Maybe a little bit of a weird hole there. I don't know what that is per se, but um, no, looks great. Looks great. I love the, again, uh, way over here, but it's still, still not super front heavy where it's going to topple over or anything like that. And I love that he's not looking straight, right? He actually is looking a little bit to the side here, right? He's looking at you right now. <laughs> love that. All right. God knows how he fit back into here, but whatever. There we go. <laughs> okay. All right. Two more on this top level. Ah, yeah. So we got the, the kind of the burning hole here. I know they redid this to add a little bit more color. Uh, to the outside of it again his eyes look good nice uh, difference in the red hair versus the red bandana which I appreciate um, did he get a wash on his skin it looks like it's just this color yeah uh, I'm not really seeing much of a wash so no wash on the skin the back of it looks even better I think um, and again, you got the swirling here you got the same um, planks here though different definitely different colored than the uh, no, this is darker which again I think is thematic um, this is torn open and so you can see that and yeah, just just a cool design in general again I love that these are floating up a little bit. He's like powered up, right? I dig that oh, Okay, come on. Ugh. Oh, jeez. All right I Got the old man. Here's a little poor spot here It's a little one you can kind of see there. It's probably the most noticeable thing I've seen on it and it is on a a clear transparent so slightly cloudy but not too much the slight blue here looks slick though I actually appreciate that again no washing the rope the rope would have been prime to do a wash I feel just based off its texture it would have looked great um, but that's not what they did Ooh. he's completely separate by the way it's wrapped around but not glued on which is again actually quite good skin looks good again they didn't get a wash it looks like sometimes they did sometimes they didn't I think his skin looks fine I think that um, and maybe because he doesn't really have a wash anywhere. Uh, maybe that's why they didn't do the rope. But it, the rope would have looked great with the wash. But then it would have been pretty much the only thing. Uh, face looks good, by the way, too. And again, he's not quite looking straight. He's looking towards where his hand is. See right there. Really appreciate that. I like that. This is really how you face him, not like this. Um, just makes it a little bit more like fighting pose, you know? All right, let's go and get into the next batch. All right, so next we have this, which is just a piece of paper, which again, could have been a little leaflet that showed which mini went into which space. But, gosh, come on. That looks like it's just, just paper. A little bit of a wasted opportunity there. But we do have, looks like, some more boards, and then another separator. And again, this, I mean, it's just separator, I get that. And then some more stuff down here. But, move that to the side for now. That's because, let's say you took all these, all these minis out, you might not remember which one went into which, and or the orientation. Because for instance, he's sideways. I didn't know that at first either, until I finally figured out how to put it in there because that was bumping up. And look at that—he's not even—he's like angled too on top of that. Um, so it would have been nice to know that via a picture, or maybe just timestamp this video from <laughs> before I grabbed it. I don't know. Okay, so here's kind of the typical. 2v you know 1v1 kind of single lane right so this is the non 3d version where it's just the you know left and right that you get to do which is awesome but again uh a little bit thinner so a little bit bowy on there and then you get the opposite issue here where you have one side or the other that's up right it doesn't quite lay flat so i'll see what i can do about that but a lot of that's just because of how thin it is right very thin all right, and then we have the arcade, uh, and you know that 
it comes in a standard size, I imagine. So a little wasteful, but it, again, it didn't need to be. They probably could have cut one, but that may have cost more. And why, why bother if you could just put this in? But there's that. That being said, I don't know how advanced this is to put together. Per se, it looks a little bit more, but you don't have space in here by the looks of it to put it um, unless you break it down every time. So FYI on that. Like the trees and stuff are just, you know, one piece, so it's easy, but not so much when it's, you know, bajillion pieces. All right, so here we have this, again, a whole bunch of cards. They are all separated, which is nice. This uh, lip doesn't go down all the way, so then you have to go to the side on the last one. Um, but that's all right. That way you can get the two here because there's nothing. And if you got skinny fingers, you can or you, you don't care. You can still do that. But I'm not gonna get too far into that. Um, but there's that. Then there is the actual boss challenge cards. We'll go and open that because it's different. And again, then you have violent kin, which this looks different. Okay, this is just if you use him. And again, you see that you see that little bit of a curve. It's because these are wrapped like that, right? So it's a little tight. So they they tend to. To pull a little bit. There's some space under there. I wonder if it would fit in there. Maybe it would. I don't know. Let's open these up, and then we'll and then we'll get to the uh, the last few miniatures of the stretch goals. Then we have the boss expansion, and then a whole bunch of like smaller box expansions. So hope you got snacks. <laughs> hope you're comfortable. Maybe if not, if you didn't, maybe you should go grab some. Grab a soda or something. Or I don't know, maybe, maybe a beer, maybe that makes me more tolerable. Oh, I can't even open this junk. Again, easy open would have been nice. I don't know the cost difference between how they wrap cards or especially the size of uh, the deck of cards you can have for those kind of glue fold over ones, but oh man, oh man. Ooh, look at the back there. Oh, that looks good. Were the others like that? Did I just not notice that? They are. How did I not notice? Oh my gosh. Um, okay, so yeah, no, the back looks freaking sweet. I love that. That looks great. Oh, ooh, I like it. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. Uh, these are all the same, and then we have a little bit of, you know, just separate ones here. Uh, but then that's about it. Otherwise, it's all these boss challenge things. By the way, these are very typical board game cards. Now you see how skinny this is. A lot thinner than a Magic the Gathering card, for instance. A lot more bendable. Feels a little bit more like paper um, than like a, a poker card or something like that. It almost feels plastic. That you make plastic PVC cards, but that is not the case here at all. So uh, be gentle with them. They will bend pretty easily, even together. Um, you want to make sure to, to keep them kind of nice and snug. I don't know if this is the same style that they do foil or if it's just an ink. I think it's an ink. Foil tends to bend anyway over time, but I think that's fine like that. All right. And again, you're going to want at least that paper there. It would be nice to have a lid on top of anything with cards because you get this this whole thing, right? Especially when it's this close. Uh, so a lid would have been nice here. Let's see. We got. Uh, I'm going to look at the dials, though. I will note that his dial looks different. Right, so this dial does look different. Looks like the car things are there. We'll look at that as well. Here is, by the way, the broken down car. So there's a broken down car. So you got this dial here, and then you have these overlays. But apparently, somewhere here it's like messed up, and I don't know exactly where, but you can kind of see how it's supposed to look. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Huh? How about that? Why would you assume I know? Okay, these are probably all the way up. This is like right here. And again, you see how it's because this board is so skinny. They really should have made these boards thicker. Um, I don't know how they got the, the sample prototype white box version and then we thought like this is fine, but it's it's not. Oh, maybe it's maybe it's the, the fuzzy one there. I don't know. Yeah, so here's that, here's that, then you have this, wait, <laughs> hold on, okay, it goes like this, I bet, I bet it goes like this, there we go, hold on, hold on, I got it, I got it, I got it, so there is the set that they gave you, and I think the flip side is the nicer version, so this should be, ah oh, yeah, but see, this is the same thing, and this is the a whole different piece wait what <laughs> okay yeah I'm confused I think that's why they gave you stickers I'll have to look I'm sure they have an update about how to fix that um, 
because it's certainly not super intuitive. But there you go. That's how you do that. But oh my gosh, look at this board. Ugh. See how it's wobbling around everywhere? Like that is just. Ugh. You almost want to like over bend it a little bit, maybe. Golly. I don't know what to do with that. That's this is kind of garbage, to be honest. Good thing it's extra. <laughs> but that's that's just a mess. That's just a mess. Alright. Couple more minis here. Ooh, that sounds so bad. All right, let's go ahead and zoom in here. And see her. I love the outfit that she has here. I think it's really cool. All right, very like classic with the the metal. This is see, this is how his dog tag should have been. Am I right? The really shiny silver like this. I think so anyway. Uh, that same kind of dark purple you know, evil, evil color that we got going on here. The cape looks great. Um, you know, it'd be nice if companies could also do like, I know they can do a base color plus a wash. It'd be great if they could really do some highlighting. Highlighting would bring this out and make it pop. It'd be interesting to kind of repaint one of these. Let me know if you'd be interested in me maybe painting one and uh, seeing if my take is any better. Uh, the hard part would be, um, I don't think I need a prime. I can probably just paint right on this, but to keeping like the eyes, right? I don't think I'd redo that. Um, the, the, the better than my two black dots that I do, but I think a lot of it, like I could make this look better, I'm sure. But I don't have to because it's already painted, which is very nice. I love the red, love the red. It looks great. I love that it's again different than this red here. The lines look good, nice and straight. Um, this whole fire little bit you know, from her palm looks good. She's grabbing that very good. This all just ends up making it look like one mini. Like it, it, they did a good job here. There's a little bit of a line there. But nothing major. Oh, that's cool. I like it. And again, so far I've actually liked all the eyes. I've, I think, lucked out a little bit there. Oh my gosh, you're so freaking tight on there. Um, again, same thing, starting way over here, even spilling over the base a little bit, um, which I very much appreciate as it goes over. All right, so again, it's all the way off the base and going over here. I also like that this is not just a picture like some of the other ones. This is actually sculpted on. It's interesting, and I don't know how they decided which is sculpted on, which isn't. It seems a little haphazard to me when looking at the whole picture like this, but there's also a little bit of a pour spout there or a little, you know, where the sprue went into that section of it. The, um, gosh, what do they call it? The, the river of plastic or some junk like that. Uh, again, all black here. It would have been nice to get some kind of highlighting on here, maybe even just a dry brush or something. Because, like, I think this is his drawstrings here, but you can't tell, right? It's just all black. Um, black's kind of hard in, in, in that sense. Skin looks good. Face looks good. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually oh fine with the eyes. There may be a little left and right, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. I love the little... The fact that he's so simple, right? And then you have this flash of color is really, really cool. I do like that. It really highlights the action that's happening right now. And again, a wash on those toes would have been nice to see. Just so you, uh, that being said, he's got some long toes. Or right, his toes are way up there. It's like his feet end here. And he just has, maybe he has really small feet and he's self-conscious. Maybe that's it. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have one of my favorite sculpts here, actually. Like this is he, this is just great. I love it. Uh, love the the slight texture on the sand here. That looks great. That looks awesome. I actually really dig that. Um, it looks like there's a you see the little separation here. Like that's a little noticeable for me. It would have been nice if that was painted underneath. So it looks like they were painted and then put on. But when they're put on, there's a little bit of an overlap that's left unpainted. That would have been nice to to have but you know from, from again that's looking at it from here right looking at it from here it looks totally fine right looks like like you know again he's gonna be on the table <laughs> right um they can't just mean being picky love the different colors here though uh this seems darker than this and i don't know if that's on purpose or not i can't remember it definitely i mean this is obviously different colors whether that was on purpose or not i don't know uh but i love the just the the overall sculpted and again he's way up here and it looks like he's just floating but he's actually attached again at the bottom there so he's nice and secure which is good uh the necklace looks great the skulls look fantastic i think and again love the you know fire 
breath coming out. Looks great. I love it. That's a cool one. And finally, Blanca. I think Blanca might be my wife's favorite character. Either that or Vega. I can't actually decide which one, but uh, they're both great. Very, very green. Um, a wash would have been kind of cool, but you know, that's, uh, that's whatever. Face looks good, though. Actually, you appreciate the face, and that looks just fine. Love the wood texture that he's got here, especially the little gap here. That's, that's very distinguished and nice, you know, that he has that little bit of a bar there. Uh, the plastic on here looks very much like unpainted plastic. It looks like they just kept the gray. Um, and it, stuff either looks painted or it doesn't. And I almost would have liked it to be painted gray, even if it didn't need it just to give it the same kind of look. Maybe it's a little shiny for another reason. Uh, very much framed on here, but I love the wrap that he has going on all the way around him. That looks awesome. Looks freaking killer. I dig it. Uh, do have, again, some more glue here on the uh, the hair, right, that you can see. But yeah, no, he looks cool. I dig it. I like it. And the, oh, and the, like the chest hair and stuff like that looks really good. There's a slight assembly line right there right where they were kind of put together i mean there's a little bit everywhere but that's the noticeable and these actually i think ended up pretty darn good um but no it still looks great i love that he's wrapped inside of it that's very very cool you don't see that very often okay let's get to that boss expansion all right let's open it up same thing where it's nice and this is obviously you know for like retail view here whereas the other stuff obviously was not you just got the kind of the the cardboard box which is you know whatever it is what it is Happens a lot now, but it, it again shows you everything, the cards that, and then the 3D renders of that. Part of that's good, part of that's not. Like for instance, he's got some purple reflection uh, light going on him that probably won't be there. So, or the the pink glow. There's a lot of OSL or object source lighting um, from the glowing parts, which I don't think transfer. But I love this, by the way. I love the back and the front. Like it's just a very, very stylized view there, and the color is. It's pretty killer too. I dig that. Okay. Let's go ahead Boop. and start. Start cutting. <laughs> All right. Only two. This is a big box for just two minis. So it'd be, it'd be cool to see the final versions of them. Um, this is shiny, by the way, whereas the rest isn't, so just, like, very slightly, there you go, you can see it there, very slightly stand out, very subtle, very subtle. All right, and we got a big old rule book, again, too big, back looks good, though, same thing, so if you're look, using this, you can, it doesn't have that other, like, almost wasted space, this is maybe a little bit nicer, and we got expand your game, a whole bunch of advertisements, so we're gonna skip over that so we don't get too spoiled. Um, okay, we got how to build these things. A lot of it's pretty straightforward, though, to be honest. But whatever, whatever. And then we got this. Let's see if we do have the glossary again. Nemesis mode. We might not. It might not be necessary. Because you have the rule book. I don't think this is standalone. I can actually check game components. Boss mode. No. Uh, let's see if this is standalone. Oh, gosh, it's on the back, right? Uh, whatever. I don't remember. I'm assuming not. Okay, I'm not gonna punch these out. I'm just gonna look at them. Chickens! Best 3D thing ever. I wanna punch people into chickens. That's what I wanna do. That's what I wanna do. Again, same kind of quality, front and back on everything. We got chickens, we got tables, and a little, little kind of uh, bistro restaurant area, which is kind of nice. And then we have a map. Let me actually make room for the map, because they're big. And again, it is that kind of skinny uh, board so you get that that's really unfortunate definitely the worst part of this game component wise by far is these boards I think the art looks great I think it's it's very well laid out um, it's just how skinny and cheap feeling these boards are it's really unfortunate because otherwise I think this is great I would love to have a fight here that looks awesome with all the little 3d elements can you imagine a little table and some some chickens on the side that would be freaking sweet and then of course you have the like uh, you know into boss mode kind of area here where you have the the kind of these trees and rocks stuff everywhere and i think again that would look cool each one has kind of different lighting and it's thematic and i love the art i really do um my gosh these boards are garbage look, look, look how bendy that is look at that not just garbage it's hot garbage but but 
the rest is quite nice and that and that almost makes it worse which is a little bit of a bummer right is that it's like you have the, like these amazing spin dials that like work really really well that are pre-made for you with some great art and nice thick cardboard and you have these beautiful cards and standard board game thickness but you have them right so let me actually go ahead and uh i have two Health or, oh, I bet one is his boss mode and one isn't. Let's look at M. Bison, just so we're not confused. Just want to see how different they are. And again, you can see that curve there on the cards. And I think a lot of that has to do with how they're wrapped. Could be mistaken. I live in Idaho, by the way, which is very dry. So can't blame humidity too much, at least not in my area. Now it's got shipped across the ocean on a ship. So, you know, I bet it's kind of humid there, but nothing I can do about that, really. <laughs> All right, let's see. Actually, the 25, this would be... I would have thought this would have been his, his mode to use. Yeah, I think it is. So, where's his boss mode? See, I didn't read up the boss mode. I, the art style is great. It looks like, see, that's not even... um. Oh, bodyguards, okay. That's the uh, uh, twin there that, she's, that they got going on. Okay, okay. Hmm, mm hmm. Let's see, we got 22 and 40 let's do 40 40 seems like uh like a boss <laughs> that's like almost double let's take a look i just want to see if the cards are different i don't remember it's been so long you know these kickstarters you back them and you follow it and you're all excited or whatever and then like you're gonna hold different point in your life almost i want to say i had a different job even when when uh we first were looking at this um so it's so much can like I don't remember. I don't know there's something, but okay, let's see here. This all looks the same. So maybe maybe they don't actually really act too much differently. Um, and w yeah, I don't know. Uh, by the way, this must be standalone um, unless they plan on you just doing one v one because there's only two minis in here. Speaking of which, by the way, this box. Look how much is wasted here. Um, it's wasted for two things. First of all, it's the same size as the core box, so it looks prettier on your shelf. Um, and it also looks bigger at retail, so it looks like you're buying more, right? And it had to be this big because they, instead of having more of these, they printed them at the same size, right? In other words, they could have made it smaller, right? Maybe cut off that little bit, but then would have had to have one or two, ooh, one or two more um, trays. Like, there's always a way to make it a little bit smarter, but uh, that's not what they did here. And again, very common practice to, um, I do see this has bent in a little bit, but not too concerned there, um, to make it look nice on your shelf or whatever. But when you're paying shipping, sometimes it can kind of suck, right? Because you're, you're essentially paying for a bigger footprint than you necessarily needed. Um, yeah, so I love the wash on the base, by the way. The base looks fantastic. Uh, the rope here is a little plain. Again, uh, I think a wash on the rope would have Let's stand out perhaps a little bit more. Love the blue, love it. Um, looks great. And actually shadows quite well. Uh, it doesn't have a wash, but you almost wouldn't know. Uh, face again, looks fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. Looks maybe a little Goonies. Maybe, oh shoot, you guys wanna zoom in, don't you? Well, let's do that. <clears throat> okay, you can see a little, bit of, a little bit of Goonies. I think his nose almost seems a little too big, but what do I know? He's not exactly the prettiest looking guy ever, right? <laughs> Again, highlights I think would look great. And uh, yeah, see, there's no OSL here, right? So you're not getting that like glow or anything like that. Um, it seems to me like his hands aren't quite centered. That just me, like it's it's all like really far back. I don't recall it being that. Maybe I don't know. I, again, half this stuff I'm I'm looking at it so close, and when you're playing the game, you don't really you don't pay attention that much. At least I don't. Um, swirls look good. I like it. I love the um, layer here, layer here, layer here. So you get these um, three layers of this stuff. So it looks really, really great as a swirl. <clears throat> and then finally you have Mr. Bison. Uh, this yellow buckle looks fantastic. He does have a wash on his face, but it doesn't make him look too... Uh, too, too splotchy. There's a little bit, right? So you see a little bit like right there and um, a little bit right here in this crease that uh, maybe was a little too dark. So it's always kind of iffy on 
putting a wash on a face. Sometimes they, unless you highlight it back up or bring that base back up. Uh, same uh, silver that they used for uh, Kami, as well as you see. Again, I would love that on the dog tags. But yeah, no, this looks great. His hands are huge as they should be. They're always like huge hands. Love the cape. Oh my gosh, it looks so good with a nice highlight on it. Um, this is actually a, a notch in the paint. It's not something on top of the paint. There's actually a little bit of paint missing there. Um, this is like a little piece of paint, but I mean, again, again, looks fine. looks great. I like it. Um, and that same, this almost looks a little bit darker, but maybe it's just me being a little biased. I don't know, but looks good. I like them again. Great, great sculpt design here. And this fits in quite well, though. It does have a little bit of that splotchiness, but I think it works a lot better on the terrain. Actually, it kind of almost works for its favor. Yeah, no, it looks cool. All right, let's go ahead and get into some of the small box expansions. All right, we're going to start with Alpha and then just go on from there. I think that seems appropriate. Besides, I think Dan's in here, and that's always fun. Yeah, I will say I hate this style of box. I would much prefer the kind of the other kind. It's just for finicky when you put them back in. But anyway, uh, very front heavy because, oh gosh, that's, <laughs> that's, that's the art you get there, huh? <laughs> All right, so we got all the decks here on the other thing underneath. Nope. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look. Oof. All right, so she's got her microphone. That's important, right? Uh, great color blue, by the way. Uh, one of the most ridiculous characters I think I've ever seen. I oh, look at that! <laughs> I love the... Uh, <laughs> the the base here and again uh, this is actually like i don't know if it's a transfer or what but you can kind of see there's actually a little bit of thickness there as well um very cool pose by the way i'll give it that right where you know like she's turned and then pointing almost backwards right and i think it's backwards so you get that v right there which is a little silly but is what it is um the pointing's good i'm glad that she has fingers um and uh mouth open no teeth though and the eyes look good inside of there, which is also impressive. Not necessarily a fighting stance, but I think there's gonna be a few that aren't really fighting stance. I need to zoom out a little bit. There we go. You're about to see that. And that that's kind of always a, I, I never know how to feel about that. Like, should they all be in a fighting stance? Ugh. Or should it, they sometimes be like this? <laughs> which is fantastic, of course. I love it. The wash is not the best wash job. This is maybe the worst I've seen. It, kind of unfortunate. I would have loved this to be a lot more smoother. It makes it look a little dirty, right? Uh, face looks good. I love the wink. Love the wink and the little smirk. And you can even see his mouth is a little bit more open here than elsewhere. So that's great. He's got a little bit of a, you know, pew pew going on there. Instead of 100 it's $5. <laughs> I love it. Great. Great base as well. Uh, there was some blue on the side up there, so it looks good again on the top, but on the side it looks a little weird, which is pretty common. That being said, it stands up nice and straight. It's not attached. They could have tried to attach it to him, but they didn't. Instead, it just it seems pretty solid. Um, yeah, this wash, though, is rough. I don't like the wash. Um, gloves look good. All the, all the transfers and stuff, I think they've done a great job with, actually. I do appreciate that. But yeah, definitely could have used a better wash, which is unfortunate because Dan's a fun one. All right, this one's always really cool. I love the uh, oh uh, the hair mostly on her. I always thought she was really cool. Um, you know, it, it, it's one of those things where because they're so big, like you could have done if they were smaller. You get a lot of uh, um, minis that have multiple minis on one base kind of thing, and you could have had maybe even some of that with her. But uh, there's a little bit of a splotch right there otherwise most of the women don't really have a wash on their skin typically the muscle definition just isn't quite there um or necessary face looks good again no teeth showing on this one um but this looks awesome and again i love that you can see the palm of her hand through there i think that's super cool very cool and again none of this is actually attached all right they could have attached that to the head but they didn't it's very robust pla robust plastic <clears throat> Okay, last one in this set. Again, these will go pretty quick, so we're, we're on the home stretch here. This is one of my favorites. First of all, the base is just, like, great. A wash on the grass would have worked really well, I think, but I love the backpack and the rocks and the grass and then the flowers. It just, it looks really nice. It has a very more unique kind of pink 
swirl here, but I love just the overall pose with the kind of victory, um, you know, punch up and then, you know, shouting and then uh, the other little bit here. But uh, th you, this is affecting even um, like the, the skirt going here and stuff like that, which is just really, really cool. I really like just overall how this one is designed. I think that's actually one of my favorites. Okay, let's get into the next one. Next up, we have Third Strike. I like the fight for the future. A little timeline there. That's nice. This is this is cool. I'm excited for these. These small box expansions are actually some, that's really out, some of my favorite, especially like mini wise. All right, going to get started here. Okay. Oh, and again, we got you know all the different. Q is interesting. Q is always interesting to me. Okay, so. Zooming in the minis, bleep. there we are. Um, so yeah, one of my favorite parts here is again, how the hair is affected by the swirl and same with like the belt and stuff here. So the hair's kind of going up here and this is kind of pushed to the left a little bit and same with the very long like necktie thing that she's got going on. The base again looks great. She's in like some Zen garden thing, which I think looks awesome. And uh, yeah, this, little bit of yellow it's just like some of the other ones i said where they're fairly plain there's a little bit of a red undershirt but for the most part it's a splash of yellow that you get even this is clear right so that's like the most noticeable thing when she's on the table and i think it's a great to highlight that by having a flowing in the the the, the powerful wind that's swooshing around everywhere um yeah cool one i like it Ugh, all right oh my gosh not necessarily my favorite character, but I love the crushed cans. Look at that, the cans are cool, I dig that. You could stipple some light gray on that to make it look like cement very easily. Just get a little dry brush or a little messed up brush and just, just get most of the paint off and then just dab it. And you can make that look a lot more like cement very easily with almost no problem. Again, love how the boots like these are textured so well. That looks nice, I like that. Um, they actually put a wash in his hair, which I think actually came out pretty darn good. Actually works quite well. He actually got the wash treatment on most everything. His his skin, which I think really helps define the muscles there, right? That looks a lot better. Um, and then even on the green here, he got a very, very mild wash. Um, which it just helps kind of add a little bit of shadow in some places. It's not super fine detail, like you don't see it in these, right? It's just in the, the big creases, which again I think actually works quite well. They did pretty good here. Um, they also did the hands here so that it stays the same. Whenever you do a wash, it tends to tint the color ever so slightly. Um, his eyes are probably my least favorite. They just seem very expressionless um, as he's yelling, and I like to see more expression, especially in the eyes. Okay, here's Q. Another cool one. I love the newspaper. That looks freaking fantastic. That's great. I love that. Um, and, and so again, it's like this is swooshing out as he's moving forward. Um, this color is a really, really nice color. I do dig that. It looks like they did put the wash on the hat as well to match it. Uh, again, another very shiny face, which is what it should be, obviously. Um, but uh, I, I like that shine on it. Uh, the tie is not the best painted. Front on, it looks pretty good. From the side, again, not as much. Um, but no, he looks good. He looks great. I like it. Um, shoes look good. Pants look good. Cool pose. And again, anytime you're not quite centered, but you know you still pull, hold yourself up strong, I think that's interesting sculpt design. Okay. Now we have... Rocket Raccoon! <laughs> no, I, my kids are going to love This is going to be their favorite one. I said this when I was covering it. Um, I love the uh, uh, roof tiles. I noticed they did not do a wash on this like they did on the other one to make it look a little dusty. Um, which I think on a roof, is, it's, I mean, it, as you can see, it's okay, right? But it would have been interesting to, uh, to have that. I think the black with the silver here cut off perfectly. Just that little bit of paint on the side. They did these really well. All of this... Um, swoosh stuff i think they did great um so again no wash on here i think it would have been really really nice on this there's some good like creases that it could have shown off but you know oh well and again i think the face 
uh, they did a very good job on. Like, I think that looks great. Even, even, even Rocket Raccoons. <laughs> love the teeth there, too. That's great. That's awesome. Oh, I love the little, the little bow tie and everything. Yeah, looks good. I like that one. That one's fun. That one's fun. All right. Get on to the next one now. All right. We're getting towards modern times. We got Street Fighter 4. Go ahead and do this. This is the style of this one. I really appreciated, like the art style of it. If that makes sense. I uh, I thought that was great. Oh, look at that being That's gonna be so sweet. Okay, in the same order we always have. Left to right, top to bottom. Uh, yeah. Again, chain looks great. The detail on the chain. Zoom in a little bit. Um, is huge. I always look at chains for how detailed it is. Now, also the scale makes it easier. But I've seen. Uh, companies like Awakened Realms botch the chain uh, at this scale. I've seen even uh, other companies botch it a little bit. Um, chains can be hard because they're interlocking. They're very fine detail. It's very easy to get some bleed uh, in the shape because, it, again, it's so fine detail. But this looks great. In fact, the cuff around him looks awesome. The only bummer is that little bit of uh, hand color right there that I feel should still be silver is not and you see that on both of those otherwise i think they're solid um and that's just because they didn't use a wash and so they're just using a plastic color and they didn't paint that part of the plastic color so it's just kind of plain the base looks great by the way i have always seen a happy face here so there is a happy face uh staring at you hopefully you'll be able to unsee that more than i have been able to um but yeah no he looks cool uh for what he is i will say it looks here like his blade is a little a little bent it's probably the first real bent piece i've seen so we're gonna want to bend that back if we can a little bit um i don't think he's that styling great face by the way um like i actually really dig that oh that sense been the other way now too much oh whatever i'll 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 work on straighten that out you know if nothing else hot water might do it's already better actually it was a lot more bent than that All right, another cool one. Anytime we can get black and uh, red, I'm down. I'm cool with it. Um, black here looks good. Again, it's a little bit of highlight. I think would have gone a long way, but that's all right. I love the red uh, bottom of the shoes. That's super cool and a cool base as well. The hex, the hexagon um, lines look fantastic on here. Doesn't quite touch the art. Doesn't quite touch it, but pretty darn close. Pretty darn close. Uh, glasses. Glasses are very hard to do on a mini, but these seem to have worked pretty darn well because they use some clear plastic, which is very cool. I think first time I've really seen that done for the most part. Um, a lot of times what they'll do is they'll do the frame and then the inside's just, you know, clear, obviously. Or they'll do just flat, you know, without being clear. And then you have to like, try and paint on eyes or do a shine or something like that. And then, of course, the extremely long braid, very nicely textured all the way down. Looks great. Um, and again, a very cool, like, notice she's not, notice she's not even straight. All right, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Give me a little more room to move around. But uh, she is, like, leaning on the side even, which is awesome to see. Love that. And again, not looking straight ahead, which, again, also appreciate. Okay. Two more to go on here. And we have one more box after this. Um, this felt, is this coming off or is this? No, okay. Yeah, it's fine. All right. Again, actually, this is a perfect. So he's in here, right? But you can actually see a little bit there. There's a little bit of white there that he's actually connected to. That's actually a little unfortunate. It would have been nice just to have the shoe there. Like, it looks great from here. But if you look at it from the side, you can kind of see. That's the first time I've really seen anything through these. But the connection point's quite big. And there's another one here, which, again, unfortunately, you can see a little bit. But you got to really be looking to. Um, but it just makes it to where this is really secure on the base, but it still feels because this is separate, right? That it's, you know, fairly loose. Uh, the after image effect here is cool. I love that even the paint goes with it. I really dig that actually. I think it's super cool. And because it's clear, you can see a, a little frosted white, not quite as much as maybe I would have liked, but that's okay. Looks, looks great. Uh, the shading on the skin actually looks good. The face is, again, not my favorite there, um, but it's all right. Just way too skinny of an eye here, I feel, or too long of an eye. It goes right up to his nose, 
just not exactly normal <laughs> if you know what I mean but no he looks cool I dig it very cool design looks almost like a spin top a little bit <laughs> you can tell he's doing a whirlwind right there all right and then this is just awesome you're gonna love this color here what a great color uh, again very cool base I like that very typical thing again sides are in paint the top is um, the stripe looks fantastic they did a very good job on the stripe nice and straight I like that see with these stripes here are actually quite quite uh, small so they make the little spider logo in the back here but again um, they did a good job there uh, same with the the pink here or the purple or whatever you want to call it is a definitely a different color it's a little bit darker and I don't recall if it's actually dark or not but it looks definitely darker here it could also be because it's with the black but I don't think so and again face looks great as well very cool very cool all right we got one more let's do it all right our last expansion today is Street Fighter 5 again just kind of went more and more modern here now let's take a look Ugh. And here we got some of the their bigger characters. By the way, can I just say I appreciate the fact that the lid that matches the uh, bin is labeled the same number. That's awful convenient to know. A little damage here with a little broken in, but it still stands fine, which is good. Uh, yeah, so we, again, we got everyone here. Uh, yeah, Nash was brought back, right? But didn't really do a whole lot. <laughs> you know how it is. <laughs> Mostly it was just moody. All right, zoom in. There we go. Again, one of the better bases here because I love just the amount of texture and color difference here. So we have the manhole cover. We have the kind of cobblestone look. We got the grass growing in between and then the, the, the dirt sand where that isn't. Um, and again, one of those things where you start in the back, but then you loop around and you end up right in the middle uh, so that uh, it, it ends up being nice, but then it goes way over the base here as you can see I think they did a great job again on these sculpts uh, face looks fine I'm fine with that there's a little bit of an oddity on the left one versus the right one where you see a lot more white on this one than this one but uh, whatever this is probably one of the lesser ones and it's still I think pretty acceptable so I'm pretty happy with that love the colored bands and it's super nice to see the assembly was done pretty darn well there's a little bit of a gap there but it's it's done it's not like trying to match a muscle so a little bit of shadow there I think works just fine um, but uh, yeah the paint jobs are not quite the best there um, and I don't even know what this is I don't know what's going on there I don't know what that is what is that what is that looks like some of the car oh you know what this is this almost seems like some glue spilled out and something got attached to it that's a bummer I might have to pick at that a little bit I guess we'll see Love the, the colored bands, though. That's also really cool. All right. Um, again, a very interesting thing. The base is actually curved a little bit, and a very in, you can see it kind of curves down on the sides here. And then he is actually not standing, but he's not like... He's, he's standing, but like on the like wind uh, that he does, which is very cool. The glue is very well done, I think. There's a little tiny bit there but otherwise fine um, and again these are like just thick enough and uh, sturdy enough to where I think they they do great here um, you yeah, know he looks good uh, this seems a little bit bigger than I remember that seems really thick I don't recall it being that thick uh, I do love the little scanner thing is a power over 9000 <laughs> scanner I think it's always the right eye and that's over the left eye but I can't quite remember if they ever swap or not Either way, uh, see on this one you can see the post a little bit, but it's not as noticeable as that white, right? At least it's the same color as the shoe, which helps a little bit there. And it looks like a ton of little little scuff marks all over the back, which is kind of unfortunate. It makes me wonder how protected these really are when it comes to picking them up. And Because the, the problem is I pick them up, now I have all my like acidic oils and crap on it, and I have Cheeto fingers and, what, <laughs> and whatnot. Um, a lot of detail on the arms. Uh, but I think that again that all turned out quite well good texture on like the hands by the way two more guys Ugh. all right I like this one 
Uh, again, just so much presence. I love that this is just flowing up. I love the, the different tufts and how separated they are. A very, very, very cool kind of a orangey red here. Uh, the base looks cool. The, definitely a power stance of just walking towards there, very confident with the arms out, not folded or anything like that. This could have been painted a little bit better from the side. Uh, these little symbols here turned out great. Uh, love the scars. I think that looks awesome. I was worried he might look a little tigerish, but he doesn't. I think it looks great. Um, yeah, I like this one. We get a very, very cool mini on this one. And we're going to... Look at that. I didn't even plan to, but we're going to end on Nash. All right. Um, yeah, yep. Yeah, like the base. Again, good recesses there, which look nice. Uh, you can see, again, his little kind of glasses there, which... Uh, they're all right. It's a little weird when it's all green like that, but you know, is what it is. Like like the the parts that go on the side. I don't recall those being green. He does have his kind of you know pieced together body. You know, <laughs> you can see a little bit right here as well. And I think the transition between the two looks good. There is a little bit of stitching that is not uh, painted, but it's just kind of the skin color. But look how far off this of the basis goes again they went all out i think on this one more than i think some of the others like that is like swooshed way the freak out <laughs> yep yep looks cool again uh highlights and stuff like that would look good but looks great on the table i like him and a very cool pose as well i think he's very much angled more down than i think many okay that's it that's all i had i hope you guys have a great rest of your day uh I will talk to you guys again really, really soon, but definitely wanted to show you guys this. I know it's a little late. I got it late. I can't help that, uh, but I got it. I showed it off to you guys, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what your favorite was. I think I told you a few favorites of mine, but be interested to see what you think. And if you've played the game yet, let me know what you think. All right. With that, take care. I'll see you later.